see it from Hamwell Life Esports. It's just going to be a Trundle. All right, Trundle to come in to help counteract the tankiness of both that Zedwani and the Orn in the top lane, which makes them very right. But the score. skill part of it's always been inverted commas, but then you see people missing Scuttlecrabs, and you remember that, oh, right, okay. It is possible to miss some of these abilities. Yondu looking for And I hear there's other mobas. I hear there's a sequel to that. <laughs> <No>. What? <laughs> Key gonna get jumped on though. Lockdown coming through, taking a lot of damage, but still gonna be alive and locked down underneath the turret. It's gonna be Max. Dashes out for the turret shot, will pursue forward. And that's gonna be first blood going over to Key. Dive in from Ian, however, oh! does come up with the kill onto Song Yun and a very nice reaction. Why is my screen flashing? Horn Horn gonna get called out, not gonna find the clip. Earth Herald will be taken over here by MVP as they scoop up this objective, say thank you very much. Lava gonna try to stop them, does have an exhaust ready to go, and that's gonna be a TP actually coming through from the side of Hanwha Life as Song Yun looks, good, looks to join in onto this fight. Ian, very far forward, exhaust down onto Yandu as he goes low. The jump forward, Ian stuck on the wrong side of the pillar, has to flash over the wall, try to keep himself alive, and Linderong is playing up in the front lines. ADD gets taken down as Lava just rips him apart. And oh man, we are getting back into PS hey! territory as Lava gets the double kill, jumps over the wall, and takes down the Sejuani. Jumped in the end, Hanwha Life taking the lead, three to one now. Switching. A bit of a gold lead as Ian goes in looking for Song Yun, but Song Wan sitting nearby. Glacial Prison gonna come down. That's gonna be the Varus getting taken out, and suddenly it's three to three. Still a one and a half thousand gold lead in the favor. Oh, uh -oh. Uh, he's gonna be pillared off, trying to work. He doesn't know where to go. go. He doesn't know where to go. There's a Varus above him. We'll get a double knock up, but uh, yeah, I think he just surrendered here. Lava tries to get the tag in just to get the assist, but it's not going to Sometimes happen. the instant casts are bad, but they see Irelia in the bot lane who has all the gold, and they say, well, we're definitely going to get the charge in the turret. So nicely played by Hanwha Live. Here's the engage temp. Hornhorn coming through, but no pop up there on the Lava. Max going to jump in, gets the knock up into Glacial Prison down on the Song One, but he's still going to be alive. He's able to flash away and keep himself up. So and the Mundo just regenerates that very rapidly. We'll have to see what the figures are going to be like at the end of the game. Now that Ian does have that Trinity Force ready to go, as does Pilot. Getting closer to the Mana Mune. The Song Yun and Key means they got incidental chip damage earlier. Now I'm going to take down the turret as well. Oh. Third turret of the game. So they're coming in yet again, this time ADD in the ground. Song Wan now pushing forward. Max going in. Gets the knockup coming through on a Lava. He'll flash away. Trying to get himself alive and almost trades back there onto the Rakan. In the meantime, Yondu in the front line is just going to get chewed apart yet again. The subject game coming through the Trundle. Such a great pick. And now Linderon poking in from the backside. Ensures the kill there on the Max by slowing him down with the Cleaver. Flash already used. No escape for him. ADD trying to call in the Ornhorn into the backside, but there's really nothing to be done here. Song Yun takes down that tower. We'll get knocked down to half as Pilot flashes away. Sitting up towards the blue pit, but he is all on his lonesome with Lava and Key Hot in pursuit. Item timing's actually working better for Hanwha Life. Does it hit? No, not quite. Paddlestar not going to be in range. Free hitting for Song Yun to just hit Rage Blade Blade the Ruin King meant that they made short work of the front line of MVP. Max tried to big engage, it's turned around, and now they have a lot of Baron damage. Yeah, that is just gonna be taken, almost nothing that MVP can do, even with the short death timers. Ian is nearby, actually, they're gonna try to commit to this one, but Baron is already gonna be taken. TP still completed by Pilot. Ezreal as well. The Rakan is drafted into Morgana, which is a counter pick for lane very heavily. And then from there, the item timing is gonna break the base in the first spot in the top lane top. It goes down and hit him to follow suit very quickly thereafter. Horn Horn will get called out. They're looking for the pop up, but it only goes on to Song Yun, who has that black shield ready to go. Max goes in, gets the knock up on the Linderong, but he's a Mundo. He has the ultimate rolling. And he's going to get top right back up to full HP. Up, they roll up, they get to get the Rage Blade passive built on the turret. And now MVP, they've used most of their tools, both their initiation, in fact, all three are down. So comically, they get nothing and actually lose further inhibitors using all of their initiative. Oh, an executioner's calling or anything to stop the Mundo. The answer seems to be no. Yeah, probably not. That would have to be the Ezreal as Dominion Way is pushing in and MVP is just kind of waiting until that inevitable doom. Yeah, they have to go ahead and answer those minion waves, which means that they're probably just going to lose the third inhibitor for free. We're close to it. Max, waiting in the wings, will get spotted out on wards as he tries to push in for this engage, but this is likely to be the Hail Mary play here from the side of MVP. He's going to flash in, doesn't catch anybody. Nipet doesn't even make it out with his life. I was going to say he barely does, but no, he'll get taken down as Lava finds yet another kill. Song one going low, but Seems like he'll be just fine. Big pop up from ADD. Trying to transition some kills in here for the side of MVP, but with Ian going down, Yondu following suit. It's just going to be Pilot and ADD left alive as the super creeps are in onto the Nexus Towers. One of them already destroyed. ADD has to make it back to the fountain. 
finding on the pilot. Lava jumps forward, takes a lot of damage there from the fountain, but Hanwha Life Esports will close out game one. At 27 minutes here, 9 to 3 on the clock with a massive gold lead. I like the draft, clean play, very well executed by Hanwha Life. Nice. Famous pick from ADD. Will be coming through, so mid lane Swain with the top lane Malphite for ADD. Still come out on top though. If you want to know honestly why he didn't, maybe Picking we'll hold the out point on top. First. The rock in underneath the tower has the passive ready to go. He'll get sacrificed for the moment here as they try to finish uh -oh. off ADD, but Lava gonna take a lot of damage. Ooh. They managed to get it in the end. One more shot, not gonna happen. Minion's still hitting Linderong, however. Sort of, because of his craggy exterior passive. When Sejuani comes, it probably doesn't matter. Yep, that's gonna be the game coming through. ADD does not have the Flash, does not have the Unstoppable Force, so he is just gonna get taken down as Linderong finds a second oh, kill. Low. That's why again. everyone's here. Yep, even Lava on the roam still has the ult ready to go with the Weaver's Wall. Linderong in underneath the turret. He's gonna this one down. ADD just gonna flash over the other side of the wall. Key now getting the Flash taunt. Big knockup from the Dark Flight coming in from Linderong. As he plays up into the front line, so much CC being offered up onto that Malphite, he will get taken down. Stun coming through now onto Ian as he tries to stay alive, goes Golden to avoid the seismic shove. There's just so much follow-up damage coming through. Linderong will get the final hit as he pops the passive, and he can walk away with his Game life. Pace. Songwon nearby, and he get the smite seal. Dragon going to be resetting back into the pit. Weaver's Wall cutting off the members of MVP. Wall now going to expire. Oh, baby. Diamond there from Linderong to lock down the great initial prison here on the Yondu. He will fall. Follow-up kill comes through as Linderong finds a double kill. Now looking for the triple as ADD tries to escape into the dry brush, but cannot do it. They managed to get one kill, however, on the lava, so no perfect game for Hanwha Life. The lines are open. Get your call in. Make your donation. I don't know if we can endorse any individual charity. That's probably against the terms of service of a lot of things, I, but uh, your local recommended charity uh, should definitely be invested on. Is, is Shelly going to get the tower? Oh, the clapping when it came to Faker and Jensen was quite one-sided. Maybe the clapping transfers in summer is well, speaking of transfers. All the CC going forward on to Ian, not really getting a chance to play any League of Legends. His key arrives on the back side. That's going to be a kill handed off on a song unit. Now ADD is wondering, how did I get myself into this mess? I have to try to jump away. But the CC is still just way too strong from Hanwha Life. It's coming through the thread of Bali. Bali barely missing out onto him as he escapes. But it's never a good feeling when you have to use the Unstoppable Force to exit a fight rather than start one. Hey, hey, hey now. Talk about what he used. He had to Unstoppable Force and Flash away. Yes. And still almost died. It is really, really hipster choice. That was a skin they secretly added the Shamrock Q animation and people got very excited about because back then skins were not very excited for that one. If I if I never lived there, it's hard. It's, I guess Trundle's dead. Yeah, he'll flash away, but Lava's got a flash as well. I find if you no play live play. somewhere, it just sounds racist when you do it. Well, MVP looking to investigate the Baron. They have really no vision. No! The flash taunt coming through, and the pilot just disappears. Ian, he delays the inevitable. He'll go golden for the moment, but it's just going to be a triple kill scooped up by Song Yoon. They're just hitting a pinata, and the gold keeps falling out. They're getting diminishing returns, this 12 a, to 1. This is a crap pinata, because it is. you're normally are supposed to get a couple hits in before it breaks. This thing is just shattering on this impact. This is definitely the house you visit on Halloween. There's no candy left. You're like, where's the candy from this pinata? Is the one giving out apples and floss? The problem is, to be real, Humble Life is going back oh. again. Uh, no, they're wrong. Joel just chimed in since with a he's with smooth, but wouldn't he be a smooth peanut butter? You know, Almost said something that I would have regretted, but uh, yes, yes, he would be. Well, there's Joel for you. We won't release that inside joke, uh, but yeah, that's Joel. He's back to Skype now. He's no longer Discord. He's been downgraded. Team speaks of most people. Too. Yeah, you know, maybe we have to further. What's the one that's not Mumble? There's another one that no one ever uses. Uh, Ventrilo. I feel there's one that's even more tangential. I just know TeamSpeak, Mumble, Ventrilo, I know, Skype. I know all those. I thought there's another one. Like, Raid Call. The ex He's oh, Raid, raid Call. call. <laughs> He's on Raid Call. Oh, man. My first my first casting job ever was for a Raid Call tournament. Was raid well, call maybe we shouldn't say anything bad. They're back, you know? You want to keep your options open. That was that was 2012. How's Curse Voice doing? You know, that one just is the Twitch app now. Hey, it's pretty good then. We or, love Curse Voice. X Fire. Evolved into X Fire Voice Chat. That was called X-Fire, not Crossfire, right? Yes, Crossfire was the, uh, the, the old game. Well, it's still actually a game. Crossfire. You know who's yeah, going to get like that, uh, Much like that Swain right there is Ian. Goes golden yet again, but uh, he'll stay alive this time. But the same cannot be said for Max, who has just not been having a great series with the Macan. You know, 
really don't know who's had the best series for MVP. The fans, probably. They're always the winner. Also the losers, but side point. Our Life Esports walk up, and turns out when you have a 16,000, almost 20,000 gold lead at 20. Ungodly lead in gold. I mean, what more do you want? About this right here, they're going to go ahead and take the 20,000 gold lead with Kill in the Tower. Just a bounce. They're at just 300 away from it. Inhibitor, third one, getting ready to fall. It's still three and a half minutes on top and mid. Super Creeps are pushing into the tower as Linderong is steps up, is, uh, escorts them forward. Yeah. Maybe we'll put up a Twitter poll to see how people feel about the tower. I thought the best way to do commentary would go full nature documentary and let people listen to the game. That's true. You know we haven't been able to do the nature documentary in quite some time. This was certainly a series. No, no, no. I'm out. talking about the nature documentary where they didn't even have the budget for to David Attenborough. They just leave the sounds of the jungle. Like, do, do we, should we let the viewers listen to the end of the game? It's going to happen soon. We just need to see one ability. I'll go right up to the Nexus exploding here, but they're all going to jump back. Looking at four. An excuse to use the ultimate here. Max is just going to get burned down as Lava takes him out. Sand United used here on Asangi as he jumps forward. Taunt not going to find anything. The turret's under siege. And now I will leave you with the, the dulcet tones of an unstoppable force. Actually, as they jump in, they manage to get one kill. They finally take down the Aatrox and get the Ezreal. And uh, MVP might have found a way to stretch this out a little bit. I want that one to be quoted out of context. Very good. Cool. Nine stacks on the Medjai's for Lava. All right, well, double TP going to be coming through. Weaver's wall from Lava just to get into the base faster. ADD, what are you doing? He's over by the blue buff. That's just going to be the tower going down. The rest of the team getting shattered. ADD just uh, caught with his pants down in the jungle. And uh, I will leave you with the closing moments of this series.